good morning welcome to today's vlog today i'm gonna do like a monday in my life i also want to thank green chef for sponsoring today's vlog you guys will hear more about that later in the video hello if you guys are new please make sure to subscribe we just hit 84k and i think the goal for february i feel like i'm shooting a little far here but I think my goal for February is going to be 90k. I feel like we're like averaging 5k a month on this channel. So I'm like, okay, 90k for February, 95k for March. And then my birthday is in April and I really want to hit 100k for my birthday. So make sure you guys subscribe and stick around. I got lots of new videos coming for you guys. Put up content three or four days a week on this channel. So make sure you're subscribed and hit the little bell notification to be notified every single time that I post. I just filmed my apartment tour yesterday and i really think you guys are gonna love that video you guys have been waiting for it since october since i moved into this apartment uh i kept saying i would wait until the couch arrives and i finally put some like last minute touches in my apartment yesterday with my friend before she helped me film the only other thing that i feel like i really want to change about my apartment is a bar cart I want to get rid of that one. I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna give that to my mom and uh, get like a little small circular one, uh, so it takes up less space. And then I want to put a mirror above this thing and really open up this space. And I think that's pretty much all I really want to do for this apartment. Those are like the only two major minor things that I want to add. I ended up getting all real plants for my apartment you guys will have already seen the apartment tour so i had this stack of fake plants behind my spin bike and last night i just decided to put them all in a box i wrote free plants on them and put them outside of my apartment and i woke up this morning they were gone so somebody took all of the fake plants so i do not have to think or worry about them anymore they went to a good home well, they hope so, unless like maintenance came by and threw them away, but I feel like they probably didn't. I think someone saw fake plants and knows how expensive they are, so they just ended up taking them. Uh, so yeah, I'm happy that all of those are now <laughs> free from my space. We have pretty much all real plants in here, and the air just feels so good. I love it. All right, so I wrote in my list of things notebook. These are um, currently sold out on the site, but we do have the manifestation ones. Um, this is my to-do list for today. Someone asked if I could share how I did my to-do list, and this is it. Very simple, nothing really to it. This is just what I do to keep track of it. So we have the vlog today with Green Chef. I have to pack and ship some orders that came in over the weekend. I need to edit and upload the apartment tour. That is gonna go live tomorrow, February 9th. And then um, I have a an order from White Fox. I've never ordered from there before, so I'm interested to see their quality. I will share, um, I will share with you guys um, all the stuff that I got and then I ordered something from summer Fridays that should arrive and then a few of my Amazon stuff um, Amazon packages should be arriving today and then I also kind of want to try to get a workout in today don't know if that'll be early in the vlog or later in the vlog but at some point I do want to get some sort of workout in packing the few orders that came in over the weekend. Let's see, for inventory, we have, let's see, six of the black manifestation journals left. And then I think we have quite a few of the white ones left still. Yeah, we have more of these ones left for sure. Um, so we do just have the black and white manifestation journals left. If you guys want to purchase one of those they will ship out this week or well i guess this video probably won't be going live for a little bit um but they will ship out within like a day or two usually of you ordering unless you order on the weekend so yay that is that for orders today you're all done with that all right now that orders are done um i'm actually going to ship them out tomorrow i don't really have plans of leaving my house today um but i do have stuff that i have to get done tomorrow so i will drop those at the post office tomorrow when i head out 
I think one of my Amazon packages arrived, so I'll probably end up grabbing that soon after I feed Bentley. But I do need to sit down now and start editing the apartment tour video um, so I can get that up and ready for you guys tomorrow. Okay, I just got back from the room. I got a notification this morning that I got a, an order delivered and I didn't realize it was my Nespresso pods, which is just perfect because I was about to make some coffee and now I have my pods for my small machine. So these are all the ones that I got. Um, they are definitely cheaper than the Virtuo line. I noticed I got six pods and I only spent 40 bucks. Normally it's like a dollar per pod for the Virtuo line or even more since I like the um, Bianco Legro ones. So I usually spend like 60 to 80 I feel like for pods on those. So kind of nice that this machine is actually a little bit cheaper for the pods. So I got a few of the Columbia ones. Those are my fave. And then this one was pretty good. It's a very like mild kind of espresso, I guess you could say. The Voyuto, Voyuto, I have no idea how to say that. Um, and then I wanted to try this one, this particular one. And then these ones, why are their names so confusing to pronounce? I wish I knew how to pronounce all of them, but then I got uh, two of these ones and I also got my um, recycle bag. So now I can empty all of the pods off my machines. Oh my goodness, they're like overflowing. But yeah, I love that the Nespresso pods are recyclable. So you just pour them into the bag and then once the bag is full, you just drop it off at a UPS location and they ship them back and they recycle them. So I love that. So I gotta empty these ones too. mine like air out for a few days before I like actually ship it because the pods can still hold a little bit of water and then it just gets like gross and like really heavy so and then sometimes it'll like smell too if you like leave the moisture in there for too long so I usually just find a place to let mine like air out so the pods can like fully dry out before I ship them back all right time to make coffee I had quite a few of you guys ask how I make my coffee lately. So we're gonna go with one of these because these were really good. So we're gonna use this Nespresso pod and then I will, lately this is what I've been doing, I combine a little bit of this creamer in particular, the sweet cream, and then the Reese's, Reese's one. These are so good together. And then I will just add some oat milk in with some ice and that is basically how I make my ice lattes in the morning. My tea container always gets little tea dust all over my counter. I love that these pods are so tiny because they just fit in this little container which is what I have been wanting to use for my little coffee thing but virtual line they're massive so I have this little thing for it. Yay! Thank you. Now I got all my little options. This is the other pod that I got. It's like the Italian one or something. But so excited. I love this. All right, now it is coffee time. Let's make a coffee. Hello. Let's put this in the right way. There we go. <laughs> all right, guys. So I do want to take a minute to thank today's sponsor. I'm working with Green Chef on today's video. They sent over some delicious looking meals for me to try. So they offer paleo, carb conscious, keto menus. They also offer like gluten free and dairy free options or they have like a balanced living option for the meals. I went with the balanced living which is basically like a combination of different meats and seafoods and their um, vegetarian options. I don't have any dietary restrictions so I figured that this was like a good one to try out. So I got a nice mix of a bunch of different things. Everything is pre-proportioned for you and all the meals take around like 30 minutes to make. They have a huge variety of meal plans and, and different options for you guys and everything is delivered directly to your door which is so freaking easy and convenient i love that so you can also switch up your meal plan every single week which is a really awesome feature so if you want to do like keto one week and carb conscious the other you can switch it up and totally change whatever fits your lifestyle these are the three meals that they sent over for me we have the bavarian pork with mustard aioli this one's really good 
have the Monterey Jack burgers. And they have like zucchini fries. Those look amazing. And then they also sent over the black bean corn quesadillas. These honestly look so freaking good. I think I might make these for my lunch today. Can we just look at that photo? They look spectacular. So I think that is the one that I will be going with for my lunch for today. You guys can click the link below in the description or uh, use my code. I will have it on the screen here and I will have it in the description for you guys to get $90 off across four boxes and free shipping off your first box. Additional restrictions to apply. You can visit greenchef.com slash terms for more information. I'm going to enjoy my coffee. I do need to sit down and edit the video for tomorrow because I know you guys are so pumped to see my apartment tour. We will come back and I will show you guys the final results uh, of the quesadillas after I make them for lunch. I'm very excited for those. It's 11.30 now and I'm starving to make myself some lunch. It's time for it. It's black bean quesadillas. I am so excited for these right now. Basically just comes with everything that you need in the lab. And of course the a recipe card for how to make it. All right, let's make some black bean and corn quesadillas. I'll show you guys the uh, the finished product after I make it all. the final product this literally looks so dang good i'm gonna plate myself <laughs> some of these and some rice maybe we'll do a little taste test for you all right let's do this mm. so good and like the cilantro lime dressing situation going on just adds to it these are so dang good and the rice is really good too i don't think i cooked my tomatoes long enough but wow it's like a garlic or a garlic scallion and tomato rice so good honestly even the rice like inside these quesadillas would be really good again thank you so much to green chef for working with me on today's video if you guys want to check them out, I will have all of the information, my coupon code, and all of that good stuff down below for you guys. You can use the coupon code or the link down below to get $90 off your first four boxes, like across your first four boxes, and free shipping on your first box. I'm going to sit here, finish my lunch, and then I do need to get back to editing. I just need to film an intro for my apartment tour, and then we will pretty much be done. I just need to make the thumbnail too, and... Uh, I feel like all of the hard editing parts are finally over with for the apartment tour. I think someone wants my food. <laughs> I am so full. Would totally eat another plate if I was not this full. I just got another notification that I got another package delivered. Today has been a very big package delivery day, which is nice that it like happens to be all on the same day. I got my White Fox um, boutique stuff in. I got my Abercrombie & Fitch order in. I ordered two pairs of jeans because I realized I didn't have any high-waisted like blue denim um skinny jeans so i ordered some of those i'm still waiting on my amazon stuff and what else do i have i just got another notification that something from fedex got delivered i don't think i ordered anything that ships fedex so i have no idea what that could be but i will let you guys know um after i finish editing this video we'll like sit down and do a full haul of all of the stuff that has arrived today <laughs> because i feel like it has been so much no 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 all right, the apartment tour is exporting as we speak. I finished the thumbnail. It's only 12.50 now. I, uh, I think I'm gonna sit on my couch, honestly, for a little while and just like decompress. <laughs> editing takes a lot out of me, like mentally, uh, especially like editing videos like this one where I had to match up the audio from my phone clips to the audio from like the actual camera. Um, there's just a lot of stuff and like adding in b-roll and stuff so i'm gonna sit 
cuddle with Bentley for a little while. I still need to grab that package. I have no idea what it even is. Um, and then I have some stuff that should be arriving like USPS today too. So we will get into all of that <laughs> once, uh, once everything arrives, we'll sit down together and go through it all. Bentley and I just got back from a little afternoon stroll and uh, my video is finally uploaded. So I am going to add the finishing touches on this and then it's two o'clock right now. I had a really full busy day yesterday and the day before that, tomorrow is going to be a really busy day. I am just mentally and physically exhausted right now. So since it's only 2 p.m., I am going to take a nap. I feel like I, I always say I'm going to take a nap and I always tell myself that I should take naps when I'm tired. Um, get out of there. And then I don't actually take them. I just end up like sitting on my phone or responding to work emails or like doing other work stuff. And I'm like, I could have taken a nap. And then I like wonder why I'm so exhausted by the end of the day. So I think today is one of those days. It's a Monday. I try to be like really easy on myself on Mondays and not try to stress myself out too much. I did have quite a bit going on today with editing and some other stuff so I cannot wait to lay down take a nice nap and I will feel refreshed and I think all of my stuff should be here by then so once like adding the last few little bits onto the video um, once all of my stuff arrives later today I can sit and <laughs> go through I feel like it'll be a massive haul of a bunch of different stuff so we will do that once I take a nap and everything arrives. Feels good to be done with my video though, so I don't have to worry about it tomorrow. <laughs> what are you doing? Are you trying to bury something? Nap time. Catch you guys after. All right, post nap vibes. It is still so bright outside. I feel like I still have so much of my day left. Nap felt good. It was like the first nap I've ever taken where I woke up and felt refreshed and not like I needed like 10 more hours of sleep. So I'm very happy about that. I uh, just got all of my packages from the mailroom. Luckily everything got delivered while I was asleep. So now I just have this massive pile of stuff on my counter. So let's go through it. This is actually for a brand deal that I'm doing so you guys will see that eventually. I got these little concrete pots from Amazon. They came in a two pack of like different sizes. I got this little like Easter Island head <laughs> as well for one of my plants up there. I'll show you guys once I put the pothos in it. I found these. These are a black and gold tarot deck. These looked so sick. I saw someone on TikTok using them and then I texted my friend and she's like, oh my goodness, yes, I have that deck and I love it and I immediately ordered it. There's this restaurant in Laguna that my friend and I absolutely love going to. They serve like the best pineapple uh, Mai Tais. They're so freaking good. They serve them in these cups. And we were talking about it the other night. We were like, you know, we just really want to be in Hawaii drinking these drinks. And so we ordered uh, these glasses off of Amazon. They come in a four pack and her and I just decided to split them. So I have her two in there, but I'm like, we are only drinking cocktails out of these from now on. What's up, Bubbas? Do you want to say hello to the vlog? Do you want to say hello to the vlog? Hi. Hi, sweet boy. <laughs> Hi. Oh, my goodness. Okay. So that is everything. <laughs> oh, my. You're full of wines today. Oh, we just took the best nap ever. Didn't we? Oh, okay. No, no. Where's your bone? Go get your bone. Go get your bone. Okay. Moving on. Other thing that I got from Amazon. I will definitely have to try these out. These are the infamous butt scrunch leggings that I feel like everyone talks about. And uh, had to get them just for fun because why not? Am I right? Mm -hmm. I got these in a small and gray. I feel like they are kind of small. <laughs> you guys will have to see how they fit me. Um, 
Maybe I should have gotten a medium in these. I don't know. I'll try them on and see. I also ordered myself this sweatsuit from Summer Fridays. I feel like I've seen everybody wearing this and I didn't know that they launched one. So I got this right after their second launch. So it is just their like cloud. Oh my goodness, that is so soft. Their cloud do sweatsuit, I think, something like that. I got the top and bottom in a medium because I didn't know how sizing would be, but those look like they will be like perfectly comfortable for just chilling at home. Oh, how cute, it has a little cloud right there. And it has pockets, I'm excited about that. Yay, okay. Quick little intermission to see how much of my to-do list we have done. We started the vlog, packed orders, they will ship tomorrow, edited and uploaded the apartment tour. This arrived, this arrived, this arrived. And honestly, I'm counting the like five times that I've had to walk down <laughs> to the mail room as my workout today, because that totaled up to be about 30 minutes over the day. So, well, that and the walk with Bentley. But I feel like I never count those as my workouts, but maybe I, sh maybe I should, maybe I'll feel a little bit better. But yay, full to-do list is complete. Happy about that. All right, the last little bit is stuff that I got from White Fox which I want to show you but I also did a poll on Instagram a lot of you guys said you wanted to see a haul on Instagram so I think I'm going to do an Instagram haul really quick and then I'll show you guys after I put each item on before I change like what it looks like and what I got they also sent over these like cute little reusable bags which will be perfect whenever we can like travel and stuff to like separate stuff in my suitcase okay i already started trying these three on and forgot to show you guys i'm so sorry but i do still have this one on so let me show you guys what this one looks like this one is really freaking cute i got the joggers in a medium i could have easily sized down to a small but um i feel like the sizing isn't like too different between the medium and the small. I just feel like it's less fitted on my legs overall, but I am a 26, 27 for bottoms. So if you want a fitted look, definitely go for a small. If you want more of like the baggier kind of style, definitely go for a medium or a large, but super cute. Love this. Uh, all of the tops I got in like a small medium and I definitely could have sized down. I feel like everything is kind of like oversized on their site as far as like loungewear and such. Okay, this one I absolutely love. I could definitely size down in the hoodies. Now I know for future reference to get the extra small small and not the small medium because the pocket is like mid-rise level or like low-rise level, <laughs> honestly. Like the pocket is so far down, but I mean, most of these I just got for like hanging out at home, so I'm not like that worried, but it would have been nice to be able to wear this like underneath stuff, like my jean jackets and stuff, but I feel like the pocket is just like awkwardly low, if that makes sense. <laughs> like these, these are so long for hoodies. I see that. <laughs> um, okay, now I know. I have never purchased from White Fox before, so this is my first impression, first time trying out their stuff um so i'd say definitely stay true to size if you want like even the oversized look because i sized up a little for this for the like the comfy cozy look and it's definitely a little too oversized for the top but i did stick with my usual size small for the bottoms which i'm very happy about so i feel like i can like wear these out with like some sneakers and stuff and it would be a really cute fit i don't actually have a black sweatsuit so i'm very excited about this one all right I'm slowly losing daylight. Let me turn up the ISO so you guys can hopefully see these a little bit better. This is the next set. I feel like with the crew neck, you can kind of get away with it being like a little more oversized. But that was a big yawn. Because <laughs> um, you can do like that sports bra hack where you can like crop it underneath. Um, so I do like this combo. I would definitely wear something underneath so I could like crop it a little easier. But I'm obsessed with this color. I kind of wish these were like down the side and not the front. I feel like that would be a little cooler. But I ordered this one mostly because I was just obsessed with the color and I don't have a sweatsuit this color. So again, top, small, medium, bottoms I got in a small. I feel like I, I'm starting to know my sizing for future orders from White Fox. I hope this helps you guys too if you guys have never ordered from there either. I hope that the sizing um, and like showing you guys helps you decide if you ever want to order there. Love it love love the pants in the small i love the fitted look way more than the oversized look 
as of right now i just feel like i have so many oversized sweatpants i'm like i need some that are like fitted that i can wear out <laughs> what is up you just want the whole vlog fan to know that you are right here they never forget about you but i promise they never forget about you they love you you're the star of the show yes you are look at that you are the star of the show of us okay next outfit I got another gray crew neck. See, I feel like the sizing with these, I definitely wish I had sized down because I feel like this just kind of lays weird. Like, it's not like the kind of oversized that I feel like is cute on me, at least. So, I don't know. I honestly might end up cropping these <laughs> or seeing if I can exchange them for smaller size. Um, yeah. I don't even know if they have a smaller size on their site. I'm just like guessing in my mind. Uh, it just like automatically picked small, medium when I was ordering. So I don't even know if they have a smaller size. I wonder now. I should I should look at this after I do finish this haul. But this one just has little tennis rackets on it. White Fox Society. Super cute. Love it. Do wish I had sized it down though. All right, and then the last item from White Fox to show. I feel like these remind me of like the set active. Um, long sleeves that I have and love. What is up? Hi! Hello, we see you. Yes, we see you. I see you. Hi, sweet boy. This again in a small medium. Super cute. This will be really nice to wear to sleep in or just lounge around the house. Alright, last one before I absolutely lose all of my light. Ordered this from Summer Fridays. I got both of these in a medium. I'd say this, like the last time I ordered from them, I remembered it kind of ran more on the small side. So I'd say this fits more like a small, but this is labeled a medium. Um, and then same with the pants. These are a medium, but I feel like they fit very similar to the small size White Fox joggers that I've just been trying on. So I would definitely say if you're going to order from Summer Fridays, size up or size up too if you want more of like the oversized look so i feel like this is definitely a little it's like a mix of oversized and like fitted um on me personally but i love the like in between this is this is perfect this is what i wanted i love it this one doesn't have drawstrings though or does it haha -ha, it does oh wouldn't that have been so cute if they were like dark pink they're like a light pink but cute and they have pockets love that oh a little cloud how cute very soft and cozy i'm obsessed okay changed back out of that stuff because I was getting quite warm. I realized I haven't tried these on yet, so we will do that before the end of this one. I want to see how this little dude looks up here. My friend has one and she put her pothos in it and it looks so cool. So hopefully this one fits without like falling in. That's the only thing I'm worried about. It's definitely going to fall in. I have no clue how she made hers work. I might just have to shove like tissue paper or something in there to prop it up. I'm gonna try that. Okay, that works perfectly. Some plastic to put in there to prop it up, but how cute. I love this. Oh my goodness. How should I turn this though? Okay. I think I like that the best. That angle of it. Oh, and it's growing new little babies in there. This one is just like thriving. I love this. Okay. So I don't need this little stand anymore. I'll find another place for that. But, oh my goodness. I'm obsessed with how this looks. Oh. Does that work back there? I don't know. I think that works. <laughs> it's so cute. I think I'm gonna have to change the direction of this though, cause it's like growing into the wall. So I'll have to swap that and put like the less bushy or viney end <laughs> on the back. So it'll look better. But yay, all my little plant babies have come together. It's so much later. I have showered, changed into this sweat set for the night. It's only seven o'clock and I am already exhausted again. So clearly a nap still doesn't change how exhausted I feel by the end of the day. It's just been a long day. So I'm so ready for bed. 
poured myself a glass of wine. I left it out here. I couldn't decide if I wanted to like sit out here and watch some YouTube videos or sit in my bedroom, but I'm kind of vibing the vibe in my room right now. Like it's just so calm and cozy in here. So I think I'm just gonna hang out in here and snuggle up with this little dude for the night. And I think that is gonna be it. All right guys, that is gonna be it for today's very long Monday in my life slash birthday vlog. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I love you guys so much. Please make sure to like and subscribe, leave a comment down below, and I'll see you guys in my next video.